Hello gorgeous, welcome back to my channel or hello if you're new. If you're new, it would mean so much if you guys hit that red subscribe button down below to join my YouTube family. I do upload every single Tuesday and Thursday. But today I'm gonna do a whole video around castor oil. If you guys have been watching my channel for a while, then you guys know I live and swear by castor oil for the hair. I've done so many videos now on castor oil and also the beauty hacks that you can do with just castor oil. Castor oil is one thing that I used a ton in order to grow out my hair and so I wanted to share with you my top castor oil hair mask and how I apply it and how I get the most out of castor oil so I will link down below the castor oil I do use for you guys to also pick up yourself it's super affordable and it does wonders to the hair these hair masks in particular are going to be if you want extreme hair growth and they're also really great at just providing that shine and smoothness to the hair even great for for if you have a dry, itchy scalp on top of all the other benefits because that is something I do struggle with. Let me know if you try any of these hair masks out. I did do a whole video like this on coconut oil hair masks, which I totally recommend checking that one out as well, which I'll link down below and up above. And as well as I will link my life hacks and DIYs playlist down below because I have a ton more hair related content. But with that being said, let's just jump right into the hair mask. Castor oil has a variety of benefits fits for the hair, including strengthening strands, promoting hair growth, and nourishing a dry scalp. I use Jamaican black castor oil as shown here, and this type of castor oil has been shown to be more effective for hair growth due to its high ash content caused by roasting the castor beans before producing oil. Studies show the higher the ash content in castor oil, the more beneficial the oil is to your hair, and the high protein content found in this castor oil has been said to be really great at helping repair hair dry brittle hair and hair breakage. Castor oil is a very thick oil and because of that I like to apply it with gloves and an applicator. It is the easiest way to distribute the castor oil all over my hair. Before going ahead and applying the castor oil I like to just take my hair out and run a brush through my hair to get rid of any tangles. It is just a lot easier to apply the oil into the hair when your hair is not full of tangles. And I'll usually apply the oil in either at night and sleep with it overnight, or I'll just apply it in and let it sit in for a few hours, really just depending on how much time I have left. But once I do fully brush out my hair, I just went ahead and put my rubber gloves on. I just find that it is a lot easier to apply this oil because it is so thick, sticky, and messy. And then I just use the applicator brush and mainly put it on my scalp and also running down my hair. But I find the applicator brush is really easy when you section off your hair and just apply the oil on each part of your scalp. You really want to focus it on the scalp because that is obviously where the hair growth is going to happen and then I'll just put the excess on the bottom of my hair because I love how it really helps with damaged hair which my hair has been quite damaged and I definitely am long overdue for a haircut if these hair salons could stay open in Ontario but unfortunately we're in another lockdown story of our lives. But this is obviously one mask I always like to use is just using castor oil and nothing else with it. I will share with you guys the other DIY hair masks I use that include a couple other products with the castor oil. But I like to use this mask even one to two times a week and I just find that's been really effective in seeing hair growth. Something I've been doing however once I do apply the oil all over my hair is gently brushing my hair out. I just find this is the best way to evenly do distribute it all over your hair. Now moving on to the second DIY hair mask. All you're going to need, of course, is your black castor oil, and then you're going to need essential oil. And the two in particular I love is lavender oil and peppermint oil. Adding a few drops of lavender essential oil into your castor oil mask will make such a big difference because it's been said to really help stimulate hair growth faster and also allow your hair to grow thicker. There are so many benefits of lavender oil and it is super effective when it comes to hair health and to promote hair growth. Or another great essential oil to add into your castor oil hair mask is peppermint oil. Peppermint oil has so many benefits as well when it comes to the hair. 
moisturizer. It is also really great with dryness, itchiness, and any scalp problems that you have. But a lot of people have used peppermint oil when it comes to hair loss, so it's really great at promoting hair growth and also improving blood flow in the scalp. Whenever I'm using a castor oil mask with essential oil in it, I like to really focus it on the scalp as opposed to the rest of my hair and just really give my scalp that good massage to really stimulate blood flow and in turn cause a hair growth. I like to just have this sit for an hour or so before I go ahead and shampoo it out. Of course, when you are taking any of these hair masks out, keep in mind that you will definitely have to shampoo your hair more than once because castor oil is such a thick oil you want to make sure you get all of it out or else your hair is just gonna look extremely greasy and my last DIY hair mask which is one of my favorites is just using castor oil and olive oil this is gonna make the hair mask a lot more easier to apply to the hair so I totally recommend if you just don't like the consistency of castor oil add some olive oil into your mask mix it all together and just apply it all over the hair from the scalp all the way down but olive oil is a great oil to add into a castor oil because it contains a high proportion of mono and polyunsaturated saturated fatty acids that really will protect the hair moisture barrier and seal the moisture. It also is really great at conditioning your hair and reducing hair loss. This really moisturizes my hair and really makes my hair shiny, smooth, and frizz free. And every single time I apply any of these hair masks, I always like to put my hair in a small bun and just put on a shower cap or turban on top to really seal it. And like I said, I'll just go on with my day whether I sleep with it overnight or just keep it in a few hours and then rinse it out and when you are shampooing your hair out you want to make sure that you use a gentle shampoo so that you're not really damaging your hair but after using these hair masks this is how my hair turned out as you can tell my hair has gotten so so long and castor oil has been one of my go-to secrets when it comes to hair growth fast it has done wonders to my hair by growing it super long but also keeping it shiny and smooth and soft and it's also really helped with frizziness which is something that I definitely deal with and on top of it really helps to nourish a dry scalp as well that is all for the video i hope you guys enjoyed it thumbs it up if you did let me know if you try any of this out like i said i will have the castor oil i use in the description box for you guys to go pick up for yourselves don't forget to click the subscribe button i would love for you to be a part of my youtube family i do upload every single tuesday and thursdays and as well as i will have all my other socials my instagram and tiktok also down below for you guys i'll catch you guys in my next video bye